Hi guys, welcome to learn Chinese in easy and funny way. I am Abdurrahman and I share two videos every day. If you want to be informed about videos and motivate me, you can subscribe. But if you want, if you don't like the videos, please uh, write my shortcomings in the comment section so I know uh, which aspects to improve. And guys, uh, I want to uh, process the lessons in an interactive way, so I am always open the open to a uh, constructive uh, criticism. Okay, guys, uh, let's start the lesson. What will we learn today? And we will learn how to say uh, good morning and how are you. But uh, this is not the uh, same with ni hao. Uh, it's a special sentence. Not every time and everywhere we can use this. And how to say thank you and see you and goodbye. Okay, first uh, we know the tones are so important, so we will uh, practice. In every lesson, first we will practice the tones, later uh, characters, and finally we will talk about the structure. And here we have a uh, two third tone. So, uh, what was our rule? Uh, some of you already said that. First one, here, first one becomes the second tone. And here, ni, ni, the second tone. Here we have a uh, different pinion, z. Uh, you should use. Uh, you can uh, make it sound like your tongue. Uh, you get ready your tongue. Say like the the, but you don't uh, say the. You prepare your tongue uh, like saying the, but without saying the, you should say z z, and it makes sound like that z z. Not uh, z, z. This you can't pronounce like that. The correct pronunciation is like uh, I said. You prepare your tongue uh, to say d, but you don't say. And without say d, you should say z, 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 not z. Okay. And you should practice it too much. And this is the third tone, z or. Uh, how can we do that? You observe sound, later you will rise the volume. Za o, ni, za o, ni, za o. It's a good morning. And we are uh, get used to this form already. And what was that? Ni hao, if we add hao, it means hello. And it's the same rules. And for example, and there are two people in front of me and I want to say good morning to them. I can say Niman Zhao like that. And here we come to tone, and there is a uh, first tone. What was our role? If there is a first, second, third, and neuter tone, uh, the third tone becomes the fourth. It's a half tone, but uh, it means uh, fourth tone. It decreases, but not increases. So here, and uh, there is a two, a third tone. So first third tone will become a uh, second tone. So we change here like that. Okay, practice with me. I will uh, read this thing. First, ni ni the fourth tone ni shun shun second tone shun. There is no way. Be careful about that. And T, T, Ha, O, Ma. Uh, I am uh, saying again. Ni, Shun, T, Ha, O, Ma. Uh, say with me. Ni, Shun, T, Ha, O, Ma. Ni, Shun, T, Ha, O, Ma. Like that. We should practice too much. And here we come. In, in the first time. Maybe you can see this character is too complicated. So 
Uh, don't worry, you will learn it so easy after five minutes. And we will come. Xie xie. It means thank you. And we learned there's a uh, this she doesn't have tone. And we saw uh, Baba and Mama. Do you remember that? For example, Baba. Oh, first has doesn't uh, other doesn't have. If there is a two same character between the second uh, opinion doesn't has uh, tone. So uh, how can we pronounce that? She she. The second she is we relax uh, ourselves. She 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 means thank you. And here we come. Zai Jian and careful Z Z first it's uh, difficult to make that sound but if you practice too much I believe you can do that in a short time just uh, watch me and repeat with me don't don't uh, watch silently and Zai Zai means again and Jian means meet and meet again and means uh, goodbye. Here, uh, both of them in fourth tone and zai jian, zai jian, zai jian, like that. And we came to learn uh, characters, tones like that. You should practice too much. You, uh, that's enough. Just practice with me. And me, we already learned that I'm writing here. The order is important. Me and so like this and this. So. Ni the o and together ni the o ni the o good morning here we come ni writing again ni and shouldn't is a new word so I'm writing here and make bigger like this and like this together right here so we take from there but later it will change and let's see this part the shun 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 first time it's high volume and constant there is no way shun shun and t t the third time and shun t here it means health and body. Here, Alma, I can write here. Ni Alma, how are you? Ni Shunti Alma means also how are you, but there is a big difference. Shunti means health and body for example if you uh, see a very old man uh, really old and you can ask nishanti uh, hama how is your healthy uh, are you healthy it means for example uh, your friend is ill and you can uh, you uh, went to visit him so you can ask nishanti uh, hama just in this 
uh, stations you can use this structure. For example, when you are uh, walking on the road and you see a Chinese guy, just uh, don't ask like that, Mission Tehono. Don't say that. It's a weird. Uh, just there is an uh, unhealthy person in the station. You can use this one. Uh, okay, we learned here. And Shishia. And I know it looks complicated now, but there is a similarity, Shun. And I will write this character separately and bigger. For example, this is the one moment like that. And this part is Shun. We use this part. Uh, in shear. But there is a difference. Here we have this part. Here we don't <coughs> we don't have. Uh, when we use this uh, a character in uh, other characters, there is a, a small change. Uh, this is an example, and like that, and we add this part. So I write uh, separately. You don't uh, write like this. Uh, it's uh, in this way. It not looks good. So I'm writing uh, like that because you can easily understand what I mean. So, Shunti, for example, you are writing Nizao ni Shunti Hauma, and first you learn how to write Shun. When you learn how to write Shun, you can write easily uh, Shi, because when you add two simple parts, it is a simple, and it is a three stroke and two stroke, you can write easily, you can write Shi easily. So, Please, uh, when you are studying characters, uh, look the character in this way. For example, here also a T and T. This part is same with N. And, and this character we will see in different characters also. So when you learn a new character, uh, look separately. Uh, is there a character I learned before? So it makes your uh, works easier. And she she means thank you. We learned that now. Mm, Zai Jian. Zai means again. And I will write that. And this part we take outside. Outside. Zai. 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 For example, I can make a sentence with this. Need Zai Shuo Ibian. Can you uh, repeat again? These are critical sentences when you're learning uh, a foreign, foreign language. Because at the first time, you probably don't understand many things. So if you want to know how to say, I can you repeat again. So you can uh, make the longer uh, dialogue. So it makes uh, help to improve yourself. So you can, but now I don't write it. It's a difficult uh, sentence for now. But in the uh, near future, you will learn. And the we learned Jian. These two parts is different. This part is like that, but other part is like that. And it's we already used before. You remember? Yeah. It means also two. Yeah. This part is same this part. So for example, should this part is same this part, but not uh like this is two is not same 
So be careful when you are writing GM. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, this course is finished. This lesson is finished for today. And thanks for uh, watching. I hope the videos will help you to learn Chinese. And if you have any idea to make my videos better and better, I am always open to that. Because uh, if you are learning, uh, it makes sense. Uh, otherwise, I'm just uh, wasting my time. So guys, please uh, help me to improve myself so I can produce uh, quality, more quality videos so you can learn better and better. See you next video. Take care so much. Love you guys.